back to my channel. My name is X if you have forgotten and well, I have made this look today for all of you there that are going to attend Christmas parties, Christmas balls, holiday balls, um, New Year's Eve balls, any balls that there is. So I actually use the teals or the blues on my um, Dream Street palette. This is a collab from um, Kathleen Lights and Colourpop. Um, I hope that she's watching this. So, well, actually, um, I loved how it turned out. It's very lakas maka party girl because we're all um, glowing all over. Uh, it's not really overdone, if I might say, because it's holiday season. Well, apparently, I'm wearing my favorite um, glittery jacket just because it's holiday, it's holiday season, it's time to party, it's time to go out, you know, and have fun. Actually, I don't really have Christmas parties to attend to because I am working at home. Just so you need something or a look that you could copy for this coming holiday season or it for this holiday season. Um, you could actually go ahead and do this. Um, for the lip, I had a bullet lip and I topped it off with lip gloss because lip gloss is uh, not outdated. It's becoming a trend. It's coming back. It's all coming back to me now. Uh, well, if you want to copy this without further ado, please keep on watching and I will see you all on my next videos. I hope you like it and of course, or I hope you like this. And of course, please don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, comment down anything that you wanted me to know on the comment box below. And I will also be um, putting in the things I used on the description box. So, see you all on my next videos and I love you all. Alright, so of course, as usual, since we are trying to create a dark eye in here, I'll be starting with my eyes of course using my dream street palette and the first shade i'm gonna use is water bearer that's the matte teal shade in there that's really creamy and that's really good so i'm just using my flat brush to pack it on my eyelid so i'm trying to have um you know i'm trying to put it higher on my crease in there just so the color really pops because apparently I have hooded eyelids. So the next thing that I'm gonna go into is the shade called Potion. That's a rusty shade. It's like a burnt orange shade, burnt brown shade over there. And I'm just using a little fluffy brush to blend it into my crease. Also blending it in with the uh, matte teal color. Then I'm going into Shooting Star. That's a really nice beige. That's a really perfect transition shade. So I'm just blending everything in using Shooting Star. And I'm actually using a much fluffier brush. Then back to Water Bearer. And using a pencil brush, I'm just really trying to define the outer edges or the outer corner of my eye like that. I have a really um, weird eyelid shape that I don't really understand sometimes. But I'm trying to work around it. So yeah, um, I'm just defining it like so. And uh, well, let's go into the other teal color called Mermaid Boy. It's a glittery teal color. It's really creamy. And again, I'm just packing it over my lid like so. And uh, let's curl our lashes using our cheap eyelash curler with matching rolling eyeballs that's from Watson's by the way I believe it's only 60 pesos back then so 
So I actually love curling my lashes to the point where they actually like fold and touch my lids. And yeah, mascara, the best part. I'm actually using the L'Oreal Voluminous Miss Manga Rock Mascara that my best friend gave me. And I'm just trying to layer the mascara. And fun fact, we're not trying to use any false eyeshadow. Uh, I mean false eyelashes on this look because we're gonna go to a party and we can't afford to have any eyelash falling off right so let's proceed to the face using my beauty bakery clarifying witch hazel mist I'm just trying to clean up the under eye area and I just actually sprayed the mist on a cotton pad and yeah, since actually this mascara is not waterproof, I did not spray the mist directly on my face but instead I applied it using a cotton pad. And let's proceed to primer. I'll be using the Ordinary High Adherence Silicone Primer. This is a really good primer. I actually have oily skin but I have tested this and it actually made my foundation stick. And uh, let's proceed to foundation. Also, I'm using The Ordinary and I'm in the shade 2.0N Neutral. I don't know. I forgot it. I'm just gonna put it on the description box for all of you guys. And um, yeah, as usual, I'll blend everything together using my favorite Eco Tools makeup sponge. And yeah, we'll, we just need to make sure that everything is blended, most especially on our neck area. And also for concealer, I'll be using my ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade, yeah, Fair Neutral. I actually also love the formula of this one. Um, it's actually... You know uh, or it actually gives me a high coverage coverage whatever compared to my foundation which I really like and to set my concealer and also my foundation I'm using the uh, powder from my wet n wild contouring palette called Dulce de Leche I'm just, you know, buffing it into my skin using a brush. Let's proceed to the lower lid. I'm back with Water Bearer. And I'm also, oh, I'm actually using the same brush. It's a flat brush, but I'm just concentrating it on my lash line. And let's go into Spark. It's a really perfect red color that really complements that teal I don't know if you can see that on camera but uh, yeah I'm trying to blend them together and for our inner corner highlight I'm using kaleidoscope that's a really nice sparkly metallic blue color that really makes your eyes pop when you use it and I'm also using kaleidoscope to highlight my brow bone brow bone it's really the brow bone bro bone brow bone all right for um, my lower lashes I'm using the fashion 21 double up um, I forgot what you call that. It's the red mascara that I really love. And to contour my face, I'm just using the contouring shade from my Dulce de Leche palette using that really dense brush. I'm not really uh, blending it in yet because 
I'll be using another bronzer on top of it later on. And yeah, I'm actually just using the same shade to contour my nose. And I'm only using an angled eyeshadow brush, I believe, that I usually use. And for bronzer, I'm using my favorite ColourPop um, pressed powder bronzer in the shade Private Party. And I'm just using a fluffier brush to give warmth to the perimeters of my face. Like that. And yeah, I don't forget to give or to define that divided thingy over there on my chin. For blush today, I'm gonna use my 95 peso blush from Caroline that's called Tomato or Fresh Tomato. Tomato? Yeah, it's actually Fresh Tomato and I'm using um, my unicorn blush brush. And for highlight, that's actually the star of the show. It's the EB Advance um, Glow Out highlighter in the shade strobe and I'm just wow look at that I look like a walking aluminum foil I'm just blending it together with my blush over there I just usually highlight the high points of my face like the top of my nose my cupid's bow as well and for lipstick i'm using blk cosmetics travel collection in the shade philippines that's a perfect rusty orange color that i really love and uh, i have no words for this lippy i love it i love the formula but we're not done yet because I'm topping it off with lip gloss from the Kathleen Lights collection still with ColourPop. It's called Mood Child. It's actually a matching lip gloss for the eyeshadow palette that I use. So, uh, yeah. Bye now!